Continuing our week-long coverage leading up to the Jefferson City Walk to End Alzheimer's this weekend, I'm digging into the impacts the disease has had on some local residents. I sat down with a few community members to learn how this disease has touched each of their lives. How do you remember your mom? The biggest smile. She was always the life of the party. She was the one laughing the most. And so uh, everyone, even through her funeral, just kept talking about her smile. Joey O'Connor's mother, Betty Jean O'Connor, died seven months ago on March 11th. Just two years ago, she was diagnosed with Alzheimer's. This disease is something that is kind of, it's really hard to explain um, in the way that it changes the person. Um, you know, you, you see them going through the disease, but they don't realize they're going through it. He described the toll the disease took not only on his mother, but his family. It's really tough. It's, it's hard to see them struggle. It's hard because you know inside they want to know who you are and talk to you and have that relationship. And that's probably the most difficult part of it. Fellow Jefferson City resident Joe Palakathile also knows the loss of a parent. He lost his father nearly two years ago to complications of dementia. I do what I do in memory of him. I also do what I do in hope for my daughter that she won't lose me the way I lost him. Joe works for the Alzheimer's Association and is the walk manager for the Lake of the Ozarks, Phelps County and Jefferson City Walks. One Zumba crew member who plans to be at the JC Walk on Sunday described her group's part in the event. We provide all the fun of the music. So we know with Alzheimer's patients that Alzheimer's brains really do really great when they hear music. Jennifer is a physician in Jefferson City. First from a knowledge perspective, we really want people to move. Like to prevent any kind of dementia, you really got to keep the body moving. Moving is exactly what Joey plans to be doing on Sunday while walking for his mom. I've felt a lot of good just in my heart as I've been doing it. So uh, I think it will be something I do annually. Just a few hours ago, Joey cut off 10 inches of his hair in honor of his mother and plans to donate to the organization Children with Hair Loss. He tells me his mother always wanted his hair shorter and today she got her wish. At last check, he has raised over $2,800 for the walk in honor of his mom. If you'd like to sign up to walk or donate to Sunday's Jefferson City Walk to End Alzheimer's, you can take out your phone and scan the QR code on your screen. We hope to see you there.